these are the things you need to know after you have received your N-level results. There are three pathways for secondary 4 and A students, DPP, PFP, and Sec 5. Firstly, for the direct entry scheme to Polytechnic program, you have to go through ITE for 2-3 to three years, Polytechnic for 2-3 to three years, University 3-4 to four years. Next, Poly Foundation program. You have to go through Poly Foundation year for 1 year, Polytechnic for 2-3 to three years, University 3-4 to four years. For the secondary 5 students, you have to go through O-levels for 1 year. You can go to Polytechnic Junior College or Millennial Institute for two to three years, university three to four years. This video is divided into four different segments and here's the rundown of it. Firstly, we will discuss how to choose the best pathway for you. We'll be discussing about SWOT analysis. So, I want you to create a table on a piece of paper or an Excel sheet for the respective pathways. You will need to divide the layout into four and label the respective categories, strength, weaknesses, opportunities and trends. Let's say you want to consider the specific institution. A factor that can hinder you from going is the distance. The thread, well, it may take you two hours to travel to school. Now, consider other factors like the strength of the school. Are there unique CCAs that you're interested in? Causes that are only available in that institution? Weaknesses could be that you prefer to work individually. You're not a tactile learner who prefers hands-on activities. After listing the different factors, you will have concise points for each pathway. It will help you to make a more informed decision. So for me, if there are more positive than negative factors in that pathway, I will consider them. This works best for people who are currently lost and indecisive about which pathway or course to select. Next is interest. To select the course that suits you, you need to ask yourself where your interest lies. Maybe you like babysitting. You can consider childhood education as one of your courses or you have a specific skill that you're particularly good at. Not a lot of people know how to use Python or JavaScript to create games and websites. In short, choose a course that you like or are interested in. Lastly will be the future you. In the next 20 to 30 years, where do you see yourself? Will you enjoy the job or dread coming to work every single day? I strongly believe that finding your passion and being open is crucial. Yes, you can plan out your whole life but there's still so much ahead of you. The courses you select or have now may lead to unexpected careers that you didn't think you'd enjoy. So go for what your heart wants. Other options available for you. Firstly, we have NAFA. This school is designed for students who are artistically inclined. I would say that there are very limited art courses available in polytechnics and ITEs. So for students who are interested in this pathway, this is for you. For NAFA, you can apply for a NAFA foundation year, which is similar to Poly Foundation program. And from there, you can pursue an art-related diploma. Next would be private education. PSB Academy is one of the private education institutes you can go to. You complete your IGCSE examinations with qualified educators who can guide you through instead of becoming a private candidate or a secondary five student. Commonly asked questions, what is your zero? It is an alternative route instead of going to set five. You will learn topics that a set five will learn, just that you will not receive an O-level certificate. PFP year zero gives you a gist of the modules you will learn in the upcoming years and a sensing of the poly environment. This will make you feel at ease when transitioning to year one as you have the experience while the set fives do not. Can I use my CCA points? No, when applying, you will need to use your raw score. This means that you will not be able to deduct any CCA bonus points to meet the requirement for a certain course. What if I don't get the course I want in PFP? Well, you have the alternative route, which is to go set 5, DPP, or private education. Or you can appeal and submit three courses and wait for the results. If you're given the choice to appeal, please be wise and selective. Don't choose the same courses and select competitive courses that you have applied for previously as you will be automatically rejected. So please apply to different polytechnics. After you get back your N-level results, you must go back to Site 5 for the PFP students as this is a safety net in case you didn't get into the course you want. Generally, you must stay for around one month until you have confirmed your place in a polytechnic course. For the DPP students, you do not need to return to Site 5 early to mid-January 
there will be a DPP preparation program in the respective ITEs for those who apply in early December as of last year. Must I buy textbooks for Sec 5 if I'm going to PFP or DPP? No. If your placement is confirmed or still in progress, don't waste your money in buying them. When you temporarily stay for Sec 5, the teachers will provide you the relevant notes.